But a boom. Hey, it's the 2023 official podcast. We're turning a new leaf today. We're only going to be mm-hmm. talking about positive things. Kick us off, Jackson. <laughs> I was actually kind of invested in the discussion we we're having before the show started. Who do you guys think is the most influential musician of all time? Michael Jackson. Oh well, yeah, it's Michael Jackson. You yeah, made that much easier than our discussion. Yeah. So let's let's well, let's shame Jackson wait, no, 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 because no. he's I'm leaving saying, out no, wait, details. Wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I said most influential, not most popular. Do you yeah, really Michael, think Jackson. Michael Jackson. No, still Michael Jackson. Still? Yeah. Like, what about 100%. the guy who invented music by, like, <laughs> hitting a stone or whatever with a The only other stick? arguments you could make, Jackson, would be, like, Beethoven, Bach, fucking That's all those said, classical bitch. composers. That's it. Yeah, but no one, no one likes classical anymore, so that doesn't really count, does it? Right, what? it'd be Michael Jackson. Yeah, they do. Plus, if when you remix it, it's really good. Like the John Wick trailers, where they always use like the Four Seasons, but it has a modern mm. twist. That shit is cool. I just remember yeah. John Wick Four is coming out in like next year. I think I'm excited. No, it comes out this year. This year? Yeah. Are you sure? I thought it was 2024. That's awesome. No, I'm pretty sure it's this year. Hmm. Oh, fucking dope! All right, I'm 2023 ready. is looking up for Kyle already. That's good. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Now, if I get Mad Max 2 as well, I might as well just migrate to Canada and kill myself afterwards. Life's good. <laughs> over. Well, that, that took a weird <laughs> turn. Did you uh, <laughs> did you see they're making a Mad Max 2? Like, you know they're making Mad Max 2? They made Mad That's Max 2. Heard. It came out in 1981. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, No, the good, the good reboot uh, is what I'm Mad talking Max about. Mad Max 2 I is think good. So, yeah, I heard I, about... Hey, hang on. Hang on. Look. As a man who watched the entire original trilogy versus Yukaya, who still hasn't, Mad Max 2 Road Warrior is still a damn good movie. The other two, kind of stinky, I'll admit, but 2 is genuinely excellent. You'd like it. You would really like it. That's fair. I just feel like I've been spoiled by Fury Road. Oh, Fury Road's the best. They're making a new one, I think. It's called like Furiosa's Journey or some shit like that, which I'm super down for. What if it comes out and it's like... (laughs) <laughs> it's Marvel slog. It's full shit. of like one liners and, and like. Oh, I have like. I'm excited, <laughs> but <actresses>. very cautiously <laughs> so. So I do expect it to suck. I do expect them to ruin it. That's just my basic expectation. I brace myself with disappointment. It's not, because then when it's good. Yeah, I know it's survival it's extra instinct, good. but it's not fun. It's fun yes, to be it disappointed that sometimes. Way, Jackson, that way, when I do get disappointed, I'm not surprised. But if I am impressed, then it's extra fun. Yeah. I hope they succeed. Uh, oh, here's a positive note. Today, no, not today, sorry. Well, January 1st was the internet's 40th birthday. Did you guys know that? No, that's cool. Uh-huh. Um, congratulations. Mm-hmm. It's time to get married. You're 40. Move out. Um, but yeah, it says, I looked this up, January 1st, 1983 is considered the official birthday of the internet. So Who fucking we cares? this upon the world <laughs> yeah you guys are still a team the internet is the greatest invention of mankind yeah i would still I, say so yeah i can't yeah. think of anything more world impacting than uh, what about fucking like penicillin and medicine mm. eh, what's it done for me lately right <laughs> i can go online so, 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 <laughs> yeah i don't need it right now <laughs> look look i'll give you that there are inventions that were definitely as huge as the internet yes i will give you that there are inventions that were as huge as the internet but windmills nothing no the windmills what are you even saying <laughs> what bridges but jackson nothing has sped up the growth of humanity faster than the internet with information passing around the world instantaneously we've accelerated and exploded in culture but over the what last about a little long. thing called the wheel <laughs> okay we wouldn't have been able to get to the internet places as quick as possible without the wheel. Like the people who were in the things, yeah, in my opinion, just led up to the internet. Somebody had to wheel around the modems. But now to the internet has the led to internet. the internet has led to other things like AI and such, which I guess could yeah, take the which place is also of the cool. greatest invention. Every invention uh, leads AI to more also inventions, cool. Jackson. That's the point. That's yeah. what in- so, invention so, and innovation are. So wouldn't the best invention then be the one that 
started it all the very first invention <laughs> oh my god then you're gonna go back to and say that evolution was the best yeah. invention or some shit fucking like, hydrogen no, 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 atoms no, 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 no. coalescing was the best no, invention we didn't, no we didn't invent that it had to be something that we invented it's, oh are and you the, saying there's the no stick, god jackson wow <laughs> the stick doesn't count because uh that was just like <laughs> found yeah that was an invention <laughs> jackson's playing like dumb man right now but do you want to know something that what? might be on like equal footing to the internet that really changed the world is the bow and arrow Ooh, you might what? that's what maybe. i'm saying you're going way back like i was well yeah but you're going with stick in the first invention ever like <laughs> a bow <laughs> i'm saying stick isn't the first invention i said that's not what like we can exclude that yeah, but my point made more sense because the fucking bow and arrow was crazy for its hey, time. Hey, a bow is a bow is just a curved stick with a piece of string, you dickhead. It's the same thing. <laughs> you know, you That's know fair. what, you know what a great <laughs> argument could be if you go a bit more, a bit more, uh, less concrete, more ideology. The invention of government could be one of the most important inventions no, like of all yay. time that's the downfall oh it's not a good thing it's not a good thing but think about how many societies how many empires how much world change was enacted just because people wanted law and order yeah but imagine how many societies collapsed how many great societies collapsed <laughs> from politics but you can't have those societies I mean, yeah, to begin with without law you're talking about civilization government. yes civilization and social order is nice but at the we also have created this like social class of psychopath mooches who just collect taxes and spend it but on think, fucking bullshit. But think on a broader scale, just the concept of law, the the invention of law, how that has just yeah, warped human society cool. forever, you know? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. You don't see specifically where your tax is going, right? No. Uh, like you don't know how entirely really blind to where the taxes did, go as well. How I mean, did we it's, get it's very like upsetting? How did we get like cucked into this relationship? Where we just hand over uh, money Dude, to people. people lie. It's and a then they spend it. I, I always go on these like three hour rants about fucking taxes, and my girlfriend, who has the patience of a saint, just listens and nods. It's like, you know, the shit about taxes building your roads, it's all a lie. All of your taxes, like, like if we take America, for instance, as an example, since most of our audience is American, the American government makes like four trillion a year with a T. That's why it's always like really cringy to me when people go on about how we should like liquidate Elon Musk's wealth and kill Jeff Bezos and fucking take Bill Gates's farms away and shit. It's like you could do all of that and it still wouldn't be half of the money that the American <laughs> government collects in like the span of six months. It also well, it's like, would like, not even begin wealth. to scratch the surface of our debt and how much money we owe to other countries. Like the economy is far more complicated than, oh, take a billionaire's assets and throw it into it. There's far more things going on Papa, and you're thinking about. Says we should still do that though kai and look if you want to do that sure go ahead but what i'm saying is like when who was it the world's something organization clapped back at elon on twitter saying six billion dollars could solve world hunger like six billion do you know how little money six billion dollars is what a pittance it is that could run the american government for maybe like what two days max not even maybe like half a day it's such little money Compared to like where your taxes actually go, think about it. Everything is really funded on a local level. You guys remember when the government shut down in America because Trump had a hissy fit or something, and the government shut down for like a month, and everybody was like, "Oh yeah, oh posts aren't gonna get delivered or whatever the fuck." Didn't yeah, that only affect like the national parks? Nothing. Though? No, not even because they still had continued funding until a certain point. They right. don't run out of money in like within a month. But even then, like, okay, your roads are paved. You call the cops, they still show up. The fire department still works. The schools are still open. And at some point you realize, oh, wait, all of this shit is actually funded on a state level. So what does the federal government actually do? Well, it turns out they actually just pay politicians and they pay three-letter agencies. Did you guys know that the American uh, intelligence agencies have a black budget of like $50 billion? Do you guys know what a black budget is? Money they can spend on anything without any reporting. Isn't yes, that it? black yeah. budget is the money that's off the books. That's MK Ultra money. That's money that goes into establishing offshore torture facilities where they waterboard innocent brown people into brain damage. And th we know that because of uh, Edward Snowden, by the way. This is why he's now in exile in fucking Russia or someplace. Like, it's insane to hassle people like Elon Musk, who should be hassled for his money, of course, but to say that, like, oh, your $6 billion could solve world hunger. Well, then the CIA could solve the world hunger like 10 times over in a year. 
It's just so stupid. So like, it agrees you, with you, the you, best don't want, you don't want random people tortured? I that, I don't know why you would want. Well, that. he's That's not American, American Andrew. Andrew. He doesn't. Oh, he's he not doesn't, American. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't get the fun of it. Yeah, Charlie and I are getting really hyped up. Like you were saying that, and I was like sweating, licking my lips. I was yeah, like, yeah, I was ready. Yeah. To, I was ready to file another tax report. <laughs> to be honest, even though I didn't need to, <laughs> I really hope I get audited this year. Ooh, let's go. I've got it's more to give. It's just silly to me. Like we. I am not even against taxes. It just, it rounds me up when people go, we need to pay more taxes. Like, bro, we already pay the government so much. At some point, you have to admit that the problem isn't paying that we pay too little taxes. It's that the government just doesn't know what the fuck to do with it. And I swear still, the government is the only institution in all of our lives that can fail upward. Whenever the government fucks up, whenever they come short, whenever they just do something wrong, they just go, well, if I had a little bit more money, I could fix it. Fuck you. Can you imagine if that's how it worked at your job? Like, yeah, boss, I know I underdelivered on that one uh, assignment you gave me 17 times in a row, but I promise you, if you double my salary, I'll get it done this time insufferable i think the best invention has been microphones so we gave kyra a platform to rant for 10 minutes about taxes <laughs> i'm sorry i'm spurging out i know my bad no it's very cute that Just you're passionate taxes. about passionate about taxes. a country's politics that you don't live in That's right. <laughs> no but i well yeah in every i picked america democracy. because like i said most of our audience is a mayor a Oh my God, a man. In America. A a man. <laughs> but the same thing is true of all countries. Yes, your taxes don't yeah. actually go to useful shit. Like everybody thinks, oh, you need to pay taxes because that's what pays for the roads and the school lunches. Like what school lunch? This is this way. This is why I brought this up though. In Australia, we actually do see where our tax money is going. They publish a report every fucking six months or so. So showing exactly where my money went. I, I, I don't have the example on hand, but like they show you where the percentage of your money went to certain like organizations or whatever. But the thing that annoys me the most about taxes is that you don't actually get to decide where the money goes. You don't get to like play a part in that. And I feel like there's still so much nepotism yes. there because these, these governments just hire like, uh, in, in the case of like roads and stuff, they just hire like family friends, contracting companies or whatever to, to sort out road, um, you know, issues or infrastructure issues. So it's all just one giant like, scheme at the top where that they're getting richer from it now That's jackson there should be a jackson let me a let vote. me um let me act in defense a little bit of what you're saying because <laughs> there is one thing by the tax man or something there's what? one thing uh, i want to point possibly? out i don't think you considered australia the entire country has a population of 25 million we I, we have double that amount of people in just california <laughs> it's a little harder to note every single tax spending. I also, spending I also imagine on those reports of where your tax dollars go to, a large chunk of that is taken up by their war against the coral reefs out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got to remember, we have cities that nearly rival your entire country in population. It's a little harder to manage. And I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm not saying, oh, that's yeah, their but excuse. That's not like but... a good argument, though, because... I think we've all just accepted this, like a defeatist. The government just tells us, well, it's bureaucracy. What can you do? You know, it just, it's meant to not function. Like, no, it's actually not. Okay, look at the I example love, of Elon wait, 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 just, Twitter and, huh? I was just going to say, I love, just before we move on, I love how Andrew's painting me as some guy who shits out in the woods and has never seen electricity <laughs> on the city before. Because I live in a tiny, <laughs> insignificant nation, Jackson. And if America yeah, like chose to, village. if America ever so wanted to, we could squash you like a fucking bug back into the ocean. <laughs> you would be yeah, gone. I know. Your culture eliminated. Your earth glassed, Jackson. If we felt the need. Keep that in mind during this whole discussion. Just why keep do, that in why the do you think? Why do you think Australia is like attached at the hip to Australia, uh, America in terms of like political interests and stuff. We're always like backing you guys up because we're so afraid. To didn't say that. Because you are so just afraid. They could sink you. Be afraid. Which is fair. Think about it. All right. We hey, have. Man, have have you seen you a, what we did to evening. Japan? And we did that to them twice, Jackson. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> That's true. Yes. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> now we can continue. Well, one, one thing I wanted to say, though, is like this. Ex I don't like this excuse that government is just that's just how it is. It's inefficient and shitty and we can't track everything. No, do, yeah, I, look, again, the example of, you know, how Elon came in, fired like 80 percent of that one fucking company and it still works and no one even noticed the goddamn difference. In fact, it works kind of faster now. Imagine what you could do with the government. Get rid of like 80 percent of these fucking mooches. 
So, Kai, are you going to start your politicians? Are you going to start your blues band now where you talk about how you have no money because of the government and join the millions and millions of other songs that went out there? I don't know what that's a reference to. I I don't know. Just the fact that it's the (laughs) fact that you're going alongside how people have been bitching about the government inefficiency since like government has existed. I know. Yeah, I know. But it's like people just accept it when it shouldn't have to be that way. Kai is not mad about paying the money. Kai's not mad about paying the government money, although I guess he is to a, some level, but a, to I, a degree. Like, mostly, I, yeah. mostly mad about how, how like inefficiently mm-hmm. is spent. Yeah, I should have a say in where it goes. I know you can yeah. elect your leaders, supposedly, but that's a fucking spook. That's not really Ooh, true. Yeah, they, that's a, whatever that's the a fuck. big scam. I should I should have to get a say where my taxes actually go. When I file my taxes, I should get a say in, okay, I want whatever the fuck I pay this month. I want that to go to school lunches. To actual, okay, poor children, buy them shoes or some shit. Do that. Hire teachers. I don't want it to go to war, for instance. Yeah, but or, I, uh, most, I mean, leaving that up to like the general population is kind of sketchy because then you'll get people funding like local NASCAR teams or something. You know, like it could go anywhere. I, well, I mean, go, you, you give I them a prefer... list of options. You can't just say like, "I want this to go to my house." Like, you, you, you tell them like what they can vote on. But this is what yeah, happens. It has to be no, a public this, good. This is exactly what happens. But then the system gets muddied again. Have you ever seen local referendums and amendments? The whole point is, let's say they bring up an amendment and they go, "Hey, let's give ten thousand more dollars a year to the school. It needs it." But that's not how it's written. It's written as, "Should they pass an act that says that if we divert funds from this?" thing at a percentage not quite they try to obfuscate it and make it confusing so people don't know what they're voting for that's the whole point well that and they pack it they make these fucking omnibuses uh packages yeah we're like oh um this bill would give poor children school lunch every day on taxpayer dime and they would finally have full tummies and raise we get to one hundred billion dollars for a war (laughs) sold yeah (laughs) win-win (laughs) <laughs> it's like wait a minute <laughs> these two things have nothing to do with each other and we've all heard those like goofy stories where some politicians will introduce a bill that is literally 2,000 pages and he'll do it 10 minutes before it, uh, the shit is in session to be voted on it's like fuck you get rid of these assholes you just reminded me of a big yeah. one from a couple of years ago do you remember um god what did they call it it was like the protecting children from evil people act or whatever and it was all about like <laughs> yeah, children safety good. online but they also squeezed in so, some shit about oh, military spending or something fuck i can't remember <laughs> you the particulars just, you guys just reminded how else me are we gonna keep them safe from you guys evil. just uh, reminded me there's a choose your own adventure game on click hole that I played a long while ago, and I just found it again. It's called You've Been Elected to Congress. Can you pass even one goddamn bill? And I, <laughs> I would highly recommend that everyone plays it. It's really, really funny. And it's about these exact things. Like, I think at one point in the game, you're like, I'm going to make a bill to fix the bridge outside of my office so I can actually drive to work and not blah, blah, blah. And Congress goes, OK, we'll pass it. But we're also adding this amendment to add fifty seven million dollars in fighter jets to the U.S. Army. And if you say, <laughs> no, I don't want that, you lose the game and have to start over. <laughs> it's so it, I'd highly recommend everyone out there plays it. It's That's great. so dumb. It's so dumb. You, a, oh my god. Go ahead. I was gonna say, do you guys think that politicians should be paid? No. I w- that was exactly what I was just about to say. Minimum wage, wage max. Max. Upper limit. I was gonna say, here's my, okay, so here's my, here's, my, here's my hypothesis or theory or whatever. All right, how about we pay them after the fact, after the four years or however long their, their service is, and then we have a massive vote as to how much they should be paid, depending on like the quality of their service. That's pretty no. good, right? Yeah. The, the way I look at it is well, if you're in politics, you should be in politics because of trying to make the community or the exactly, state yeah. better. It shouldn't be a money-driven position. So it shouldn't be a career. Here's the problem with all of this, if, though. Here's the problem with all of this. All of the high-level uh, government officials are already billionaires, so who cares? They don't care what they get paid. It does not matter to them. That's that's my problem. Even when they're not billionaires, here's my system. Oh, people that just I really like power, to see. Yeah. Yeah. If you have no other job, no other income, you get minimum wage. If you have any other income, fuck you, the taxpayer doesn't pay you a single cent. I still remember when people were praising Trump because I think he gave his um, official like presidential salary to charity or some shit, which is like, okay, that's nice, but... Like, do you see why he shouldn't, like, that? it's not something so that deserves praise. He shouldn't he have been paid money. in the first place. Here's the place. thing He's with the presidential salary. The presidential salary for the r- most powerful man in America is set at, I believe, $400,000 a year. 
I, I think it's like a hard limit defined by laws. Like you cannot get paid and more it's like, to do why? it. Why? Well, okay, it, no. So you should look at the guy, and you should determine. Hey, does this person already ha own more than four hundred thousand a year? Does he earn more than that? Okay, then why the fuck should the taxpayer pay you, right? Look at any goddamn politician nowadays. They have Netflix movie documentary deals. They have book deals. They have. They're on fucking Twitter shilling shits. They have podcasts. It's like. They're influencers, dude. They're playing fucking video games on Twitch. You don't even have to be the politician. Like, you just why? have to be married to them. Like Michelle Obama well, was selling they're out doing, Arena They're tours. doing all That's of that, Kyle, because they're campaigning. They're, they're campaigning. Oh, and yeah. they're getting their vote and message no, out there or no. whatever. Uh, uh they're, they're no. doing this even after they campaign. Dude. Like, look at Obama. <laughs> Obama's net worth currently is like in the 70 millions. He did not make that from eight years getting 400,000 a year. Okay, that's movie deals and book deals and shit and speaking gigs. That should be, like, if you're getting paid for speak, uh, speaking gigs and documentaries, I do not see any reason why the government should pay you money or a salary. Aren't they meant to be public servants? Yeah, so be a public servant. Without pay. You're already paid. Yeah. I, I just don't think there's realistically a system where you can get anywhere unless you find people with integrity because then it becomes an issue of, well, if I'm not getting paid, why would I do a good job at all? Well, yeah, well, oh, yeah, the, no, I, this, the this ideal is system is to... you have people in a position that actually are there because they want to make it better. Right. But again, even if you're not getting paid for that work, you will find money from exactly what they do right now, like sponsors, brand deals, shit like that. Legal or even just yeah. yeah, or even just like exerting policy, basically. Like cho being able to choose policy and stuff can lead to, you know, yourself your benefiting, and the, obviously. And the problem is, how do you fix it? It's the catch-22. It's the same thing with cops, right? Somebody who really wants to be a cop probably shouldn't be. Somebody mm. who really wants to be a politician and exert, like, influence and power over other people and set rules that they have to live by probably shouldn't be one but then how the fuck do you square that like how well what are we gonna do the Force solution people to be politicians who don't want to be the solution is to have like a very uh, strict you know like punishment for breaking the rules or doing anything wrong in those situations those positions where you have that kind of power like if but a cop just never gonna happen that just if never the cop exerts happen. his power incorrectly, he should be like, you know, obviously yeah. held accountable for that. The problem the with the current system is there's so much loyalty Too amongst lenient. amongst yeah. the police force that if they indict some misconduct, it's not, oh, you are suspended indefinitely or, oh, you are expelled from the police force. Oh, you can no longer be a cop in the United States. It's, uh, you know, six weeks paid leave. Think about what you did and then come on back, buddy. That's the problem. Did they, did anything ever come from the, what was that recent school that got shot up and the cops stood around outside? Uvalde. What am I thinking of? Mm. Was it Uvalde? Yeah. Did anything yeah. happen to those cops who were just standing in the corridor, thumbs up their asses, waiting? I don't know, probably telling bar the stories about what change. they would have done if they had yeah, more time I mean, to prepare. What, what, what is going to happen? <laughs> I, think they got sued. I think they got sued by the families, but beyond that, I don't think there's any legal punishment you can lay on them for that. If, they, if their argument is, well, it's unsafe for us to go and we just get killed, then, I mean, you could really argue that. That wasn't in... even their arguments. I think their arguments was we all have to wait for the command to go in. They all oh, just okay, yeah, basically they kicked the, the responsibility that's can down hours. the road. Yeah, playing hot yeah. potato with the responsibility. Like, well, I, I can't go in unless my boss tells me to. I was just following orders. It's never going to change, dude. Same with the politicians. They're never going to change any of those loopholes. Um, Dave Chappelle made a joke about this actually on SNL where, you know, who was it? Hillary Clinton talked about how Trump doesn't pay his taxes and Trump uh, basically told her, well, I am... First of all, that makes me smart. And two, you're never going to close that loophole because all of your friends use the same loopholes that I use. It's true. They all use the same loopholes. They're not going to close it. No yeah, matter who you not. elect, they're not going to fuck we themselves. Need to, we need to elect someone who hates money and wants to close there the loopholes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good luck finding that mythical creature. You're talking about it like... We need to elect like Kanye like he promised he would run a few <laughs> years ago. That'll fix everything. I read this the other day. You know who was apparently planning to run for president? I know how. I don't know how true the statement is. Young Thug was apparently planning to run for president until he got arrested. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, I've got a, th I've got an idea, but I Andrew, you want to yeah. talk first, so I'll get I to do want to talk first. Shut the fuck up, Jackson. Well, keep was, keep right. your opinions to your twenty-five million 
people crowd, okay? I'll speak to my, what are we at, 350 million Americans? What are we at? Anyone you remember? got both numbers wrong. I think it's like 360 compared million? to 26. Oh. 26, yeah. oh, sorry, 26. Also, I just looked it up. 331 million Americans. All yeah, right. That was close far off. off. So you you take your you take your fraction of that, Jackson. You can play. I don't know what's the national game of Australia, paddle jacks, and we'll talk about important products. For example, ExpressVPN. For all of you Americans out there who want to LARP in Australia, and I'll tell you why you would ever want to do that. Because sometimes you hop on Netflix, you hop on Hulu, you hop on MSNBC+, Plus, you hop on Rainbow Peacock, you hop on Stream Now, you hop on Vision Quest. I don't care what the streaming service is called this day. It's all the same shit under one package, and that shit is making you pay for a stream of entertainment, but blocking all the best shows in your region. It's stupid. Last night, or two nights ago, I wanted to watch a documentary on North Korea because it came out and it looked really good. And I, I did that thing where you Google, you're like, oh, where do I watch this? You know, where is this available? And I found out, no, it's not on Amazon. No, it's not on this. It's not on this, whatever. I found out it's on Netflix. And I went, okay, great. I got a Netflix account I can use. Oh, sorry, it's in Netflix Japan. And that's it. And it is a documentary from, I think, like, Germany? Or, or some <laughs> European country? I think Denmark? I think it's Denmark. And I, I, why? Why is it only in Japan, of all places? I don't know, but it didn't matter. Because I had ExpressVPN. I could change my location with the click of a button, use whatever IP address from whatever country I feel like following through on the internet, and hop on to Disney Plus or what the fuck ever and watch anything I want. But with that, you're also going to be getting internet security and protection at just the click of a button or the tap of a phone. It's going to keep you safe, keep your data private, but most importantly, I think most realistic use case for most people listening, because you're not all cybersecurity experts out there, you're going to keep yourself entertained forever. Secure your family's online activity and unlock tons of new shows by visiting expressvpn.com official. Use code official or the link, sorry, yeah, use official and our link there we go. To get three months mm -hmm. for free. That's EXPRESSVPN.com slash official. ExpressVPN.com slash official to learn more. And after you've learned more, maybe you'll learn shit. What am I paying all this money for? I'm paying all these streaming services for like a third of the content. What am I doing? Let me spend my money somewhere else. Let me go buy some clothes. Let me buy some tech hey, gadgets. Yeah some pizza, some whatever. Well, hang on, stop. Stop what you're doing. Did you realize you've committed another inefficient faux pas yet again? Because you're probably not using Honey. Honey is a free shopping tool that will scour the internet for promo codes and apply the best one to your cart. It is the sponsor of today's episode and it's an easy way to help you when you're shopping on your iPhone or your computer. All you gotta do is go to your favorite website, go to that checkout cart, and Honey will say, whoa, whoa, hey, wait, 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 hang on to your credit card, folks. I will be right back with a fucking magic trick called free savings. It's gonna find a working coupon on the internet. It might even scour, you know those shady websites where it's like, oh, we got free coupons and they work, but they show you 30 advertisements or they like hijack your browser. You gotta click like, oh, and then wait 20 minutes and watch an ad. Fuck that. No, don't do that. Let Honey do all that work for you. We at the official podcast use Honey to save money on all of the equipment that we use on this show. And let me tell you, I have saved a fat load of cash. Honey doesn't just work on desktops, works on iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could straight up be missing out. By getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting the show. Get PayPal Honey <clears throat> for free at joinhoney.com slash official. I'm going to take a quick sippy of water because my throat is so very dry. Mm. Hydrate and then, for those ads. Now that I'm hydrated, I'm going to joinhoney.com slash official. So I'm, I'm situated on my couch. I've got my thing ready to watch. I'm ready to watch Legend of Korra, book four, episode six, <laughs> which I think is literally where I left off. I've used Honey to save money on my subscription or what have you, 
what I'm what am I gonna snack on? What am I gonna eat? You don't watch shows just watching them? Are you insane? You gotta be doing something at the same time. That's the modern world, and I want to eat something delicious thanks to Factor. Factor will shop, prep, cook, and deliver to your door so that you can enjoy chef crafted, dietitian approved meals during, well, the holidays, which are finally over, or maybe just the rest of your life. You will have 34 meals per week. That will include Gourmet Plus, Keto, Calorie Smart, Vegan, Veggie, and 36 plus weekly add-ons, depending on how you tend to tick some of the boxes there. Factor is a cheaper alternative to dining out and taking out. Restaurants are getting so goddamn expensive lately. I think they know it. They know the world wants to go back out now that COVID is wrangled a bit. So they're just upping their prices, especially with delivery. It's like, look, you want delivery from uh, certain competitors? Well, how about you pay the service fee? What does that go to? I don't know. Fuck you. How about you pay the delivery fee that for this specific restaurant is now five more dollars? Because fuck you. Nah. Nah, Factor is going to be around to help you fix that. It is a flexible change what you order every week plan. You can do from eight, sorry, from four to 18 meals a week. And you're going to stress less over meal times. It's no prep, no mess, easy cleanup. Free yourself up from time you would spend doing other things. Head to go.factor75.com slash official 60. <laughs> There's a lot of a lot of numbers here, but you can remember it because you're gonna get sixty percent off our, of your our first natural box. affinity with that number. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're so, nerd for sixty. So yeah. here's what you're gonna remember: <laughs> Factor seventy five. It's gonna help you live to seventy five because it's so delicious. And you're gonna use code official sixty because it's sixty percent off. So that's go.factor75.com slash official sixty. To get 60% off of your first box. Those are our I mean, that ads is a pretty for the big show. discount, though. 60% off. Yeah, 60% off is pretty heavy, pretty I'm good. not going to lie. You got to remember some numbers. You got to do a little arithmetic there, but it's worth it for the It'll savings. be in the description. It'll be below. Yeah. All right. I was just now scrolling our topics channel. Jackson, did you want to talk about this really stinky woman who only bathes <laughs> once every 10 days? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming I, I'm pretty sure Kaya and Andrew both saw this. Charlie, have you heard of this stinky woman? <laughs> I have heard of this stink woman. Yes, mm, everyone's heard of the stinky woman. <laughs> Go ahead and describe it. So, from what I understand, this is a, a woman who, um, in in 2022, she tracked everything she did, basically, like every single thing in uh, like an app that tracks things. Uh, yeah, like and she Excel published sheet. her results. Yeah, she published her results to Twitter. She's a she's a popular chick. She's got like 100k followers on Twitter, so she's not like some random homeless man. <laughs> that would be much less impressive. But she uh, so for her stats, uh, it came out that she had only showered 37 times in the year. I mean, that's insane, right? I'm not. It's not just me. I don't think that. Uh, that's like, showering that's, that's, no. roughly once every 10 days that's that disgusting. Is like so, disgusting okay i got the tweet let me pin this real quick for chat and so she says um she went outside 222 times she pooped 194 times in the year <laughs> she um drank alcohol 118 times had sex 63 times and at this point i probably might be topical to mention that she's a prostitute and she regularly goes to orgies and even has orgy um what was it, a form to apply, I guess, to join yeah, her? She has a, yeah, yeah, like a Google Docs a a application form if you want to join her. Yeah, stinky I looked geez. at her Twitter and she like brags about... Yeah, why yeah. not? Yeah, and invites her. I assume like men fly her out for their orgies, maybe? I don't know. No, but she no, doesn't no, fly her straight into the fucking shower. No? No, she, she, she's... It's like genuine like orgies around her area that she hosts and stuff. She's an orgy hostess, basically. And then she invites random people from the documents, the forms, to come together. Because there's a, the uh, oh, okay. form interview sense. process is like extremely in depth. There's even like a loyalty Did program. You sign up? <laughs> there's a <lo> <laughs> there's a loyalty program where like if you 
the, the gender disparity must be pretty official. significant. Yeah, <laughs> the gender disparity m- must be pretty significant because there's like an option where if you bring a girl, you get like priority access to the orgy, basically. <laughs> Oh, that's there's funny. a whole there's a whole business model there. It's yeah, great. no, I was gonna say she has like tweets where she talks about how literally dozens, like twenty four men, railed her on in one party in one night, and she still didn't take a shower after. Anyway, um, she continues. She had sex sixty three times in that year, cried fifty nine times, and showered thirty seven <laughs> times. Wait, wait, so wait, she, hang on. She she yeah. had sex sixty three times and cried fifty nine times. I'm seeing a pattern. <laughs> 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 I was thinking more so maybe the stink fumes were getting in her eyes or oh, something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Um, she exercised 23 times. That's not going to do anything. You're going to do more than that. Uh, escorted six times. Took a psychedelic five times. We two migraine two. Two migraines. Yeah, that's pretty that's good for migraine. Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty. Maybe there decent. is something to this not showering thing. There is an episode of Curse the Cowardly Dog I've always been very intrigued by. There's a guy named Conway, and his whole thing is he doesn't shower, he doesn't do anything except embrace filth and grime and grease. He's the dirtiest person ever, but he's also borderline immortal because he's been like, he's trained his body. He just lives off of filth and sludge. And I wonder... Yeah, so that's no. similar to her uh, excuse. She claims that showering less is actually better for her skin. Yeah, yeah. Volume, I can, I can give like you that. her. Yeah, I'll, I'll read it. She says, oh, so someone said showered 37. What the fuck? And she replied saying, yep, I try not to disturb my natural skin microbiome too much. If I shower too often, I seem to stink more. I regularly <laughs> use a bidet to spot wash my armpits and genitals, though. I don't. Is that. Is this cope or is that like an actual thing? No, it is not. A, it's not an actual thing. I'll tell you right it now, Jackson. Be. Yeah, it can't be. But surely someone in her life is like, yo, you stink. <laughs> what? You look filthy. You you, you stink. Shower. Like, Apparently someone. not. I get, Especially if like... she's orgying and having sex 59 times. Jackson, these are fucking people applying for an orgy. They're not going to go there and be picky. <laughs> oh, what? The- yeah, well... <laughs> Also, Adam. you know how when you buy something and it turns out to be shit, but you don't want to admit that it was shit and you made a mistake and wasted your money? So maybe if you buy like an escort like this and she just stinks, you're like, no, this is good, actually. She doesn't stink at all. It's awesome. All right, well, all right ignore the fucking whole the sex stuff. What about just friends? Surely she has a friend that's like, or a family member that's like, you, you kind of stink. Probably not. Someone had to tell her. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe she lives alone. Uh, Never know. Yeah, maybe. maybe there's a there's a citywide quarantine around our house for unknown reasons. <laughs> I forgot I forgot about this little tidbit. I don't know if you saw Jackson, but she's also very obsessed with pedophile polls. She has a lot of tweets where she asks questions. Yeah, so she asks in a tweet: If a pedophile had a time machine and they went back in time to molest themselves as a child, should that be illegal? <laughs> Ah, uh, the old grandfather paradox. I actually remember that one. I remember that one. <laughs> Interesting thought. <laughs> Um, oh no, did I just lose my internet? No, 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 you're here. Oh, sorry, okay. Everyone went quiet all of a sudden. Assume anyone can easily verify that it is the same person, and 82% of people said yes, and 18% of people said no, that should not be illegal to molest yourself as a child. <laughs> can you imagine, like, a portal being opened right in front of you, and it's, like, 80-year-old you, and you're, like, 12, and just oh, starts touching you and to kissing you? you? <laughs> the guy claiming yeah. to what, scenario, <laughs> what scenario creates this, though? Like, why does a pedophile have a time machine? And was it, ah, oh, I invented it. I can finally go back in time and molest myself. Yeah, instead of giving, like, advice on, like, investing in Bitcoin, he's just yeah. like, all right, I'm here to diddle myself. <laughs> <laughs> he leaves immediately after that and destroys the machine. It's the future Twitter wants, so it's where we're heading. I don't know. That's awesome. It's so dumb. <laughs> she says, to be clear, I do approve of pedo dolls. What? Oh, cool. <laughs> Kaya's enthusiasm gone. <laughs> it just, it's such a weird person. Like, how stinky are you? And you're like on the side of pedophiles morally or Morally stinky. Or at least yeah. you're pedo curious. Yeah, she's morally stinky. That's a good way to put it. I mean, I feel like 
<laughs> Most people that don't shower are like pretty mentally ill, right? That's like a sign of mental illness. Or being a gamer. Guess, yeah. Yeah, it's it's That's not like fair, a mental yeah. illness all the time, but I mean, I'm sure there is a correlation between like your mental health and how often you like practice good hygiene. Yeah. Mm hmm. <clears throat> I just wash my ass every day, minimum, plus a shower. Gotta be done. Is there such a thing as too much showering? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yes. What 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 would that do? Just I would assume so, it would just dry out the skin. So probably irritate your skin. This is something I read a long time ago. I don't remember the exact wording on it, but you actually don't want to shower too much because you're basically fucking up the skin cells and other bacteria on your hands to the point where you're not really doing anything. Um, yeah. There was a thing. Oh God, it was like doctors have a sh uh, shower schedule sometimes to make sure they don't do that and overclean. But basically, you need like a level oh, of... Oh, because they scrub a lot? Yeah, yeah I, I'm not remembering the exact thing, so I don't want to like proclaim this all as fact. But there's a thing I, I read where basically like, you know, you want to shower regularly, but too much is just not good for the bacteria that lives on your body. So you don't want to do mm -hmm. it too often. What's yeah, the longest sense. you guys have gone without showering? Ooh, good question. Oh, I have a good answer for that. Um, probably five, six days, and I hated it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, We've um, gone longer because... Sorry, go ahead. Well, I, I just had a story and a reason why. It's the only time I've gone that long without showering. I went on a, like, camping festival trip with my Ew. brother when I was, like, 14, 13. And uh, we got there, and it was like there was a bunch of music and food vendors, and we were supposed to be there for, like, four days, five days, whatever. And it was, like, cool and fun. But I was incredibly shy and insecure as a teenager in general. And I was like, where do I take a shower? And he was like, oh, it's communal showers over there. And I went, nope. And I just didn't because I was just so fucking terrified of being in a Wait, communal shower with a bunch you, of strangers. I get that. Haven't you told the story before, but you said that you did shower? In there that was later when I was a man and confident. <laughs> okay. Oh. No, so so, so my brother, my brother's a hippie, and he lives in Oregon, and so he's constantly going to music festivals and stuff like I'm that. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so the first one I went to with him ever, he was like, "Yeah, it's communal shower. It's over there." And I just said, "Nope, fuck this." But then when I went with him later to a different one, when I was like early twenties, so I was like, "Yeah, fuck, I don't care. Let's do it." Communal shower, as in, like, is there any level of privacy in there, or is it just all out of the No, it's just a row of showers, and you just go in and scrub. It's like a gym, you know? You just go in there and scrub up. That's all. Yeah, sometimes, I don't know about you guys, but I am still, as an adult, kind of bothered by the lack of privacy that men are just assumed to accept. <laughs> or just expected to accept, like, you know, urinals, where they don't yes. even bother to put, like, a tiny privacy screen in it's between the urinals? Troughs. Like, yeah, I just don't see the troughs. point. Like, it's so effortless to just put, like, a tiny piece of wood there. <laughs> right, it can't cost that much. Yeah. Like, I don't want to, yeah. Okay, I understand cost saving, but it can't be that much money to install a tiny screen in between. It yeah, just feels I weird. It's, it's, so I've always had this position and I've always felt like a fucking crazy person. I will wait until the cubicle is open. I, I will, I refuse to piss at those troughs if there's anyone nearby. I don't want to stand next to a pissing dude and get like, you know, all the stuff bouncing back. Or Piss particles, even just yeah. Yeah, just standing next to a dude pissing. It just feels so fucking weird. I, I don't want to looking at my junk or anything. I, I can't do trots. Alone. I can't do trots, but if there's dividers, like urinals, that I can do. But if it's just it's like so, shoulder so to shoulder weird. with a guy, I can't do it. I, I, I can do any of it in a pinch, but again, like it, it would be nice courtesy of you guys to add a little divider. So I don't know. I don't feel as exposed, or, like as much of an animal pissing in a trough is just weird. It makes me feel so uncomfortable. I also never understood the um, the little gap below and above the cubicles either. Like what? Yeah. So you can escape Why do I have if there's to feel like a, a... <laughs> if the door <laughs> suddenly stops working even though it's just a latch. Yeah. <laughs> I always just feel like a bully is gonna peek in and make fun of me or something. I don't know if I'm traumatized. <laughs> they pay him, he's on the staff. When, when you're sitting when you're sitting on the toilet, do you like hold your legs up hiding from the bottom so people don't see it? <laughs> so the bully doesn't know you're in there. <laughs> yeah, my lover gets on the seats too, so they don't see that there's two people in there. <laughs> Yeah, I could. Yeah, I've seen so many people uh, video, so many videos 
of people fucking in those public toilets and it's so i don't know how drunk you need to be to do that that's so gross yeah that is pretty fucking gross <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah i but yeah i agree kai i think we need to get rid of urinals and just fill the rooms with urinals. what do you mean you agree that's not what kai is saying at all. No, 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 i'm okay with the urinals just give me just pay me no, a no. little bit of courtesy for a privacy screen a little bit it can't cost Why, that so, much like i said it's not shyness it's uncomfortable just to, I, i'm fine like i'm fine getting my cock out around guys i know that's completely fine but if you put me in a room with strangers and all we've got in common <laughs> is that we're pissing in the same direction, that's fucking weird. See, oh, I think shyness I would is think... a valid excuse too. You don't have to defend yourself. I'm shy. I don't like it. I would think, Jackson, it would be the opposite mindset because if you go into a room with strangers and whip your cock out, you go, oh, they'll never see me again. Who gives a shit? I'm just a nobody. They're not even paying attention. But I'm if I go into either. a room with my friends and they see my cock, I'm like, oh, shit. Well, now Charlie knows what it looks like and Kaya knows what it looks like and True. Jackson. <laughs> I think that's worse. True. Yeah, I would agree with Andrew's take on that one. Yeah. Right, now, yeah, I'm not that, saying I'm shy about fair. either. If you guys want to see it, I'm, that's fine. But, you know. I still want to go back and um, pull up those chat locks from me flirting with my girlfriend on MSN Messenger <laughs> back in, like, 2014 or 2012 or something. Why? That sounds awful. Why would, <laughs> yeah, why would you ever want to... It would be funny. Like, it would be cringy and funny. How have you not established you that yet? <laughs> Jesus. I, w I could not think of anything worse than going back and looking at old flirting or sexting messages. <laughs> I can't even look at things I sent people last week. I don't know how you guys do yeah. it. Well, yeah, that too. Once you have that post not clarity, you go, oh my, why did I send that message? <laughs> Is it too late to delete it? <laughs> uh, let's see, what other topics do we have? What do you guys have? I don't want to talk over everyone. Let's talk about ads. I wrote this in the topic thing. So I was just thinking about this right lately, this phenomenon, this idea. When was the last time in regular culture or amongst your friends or anywhere in real life, you heard people talking about a commercial in a positive way? When people talk about our commercials. No, 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 yeah, not, not that, commercial. like an actual made commercial. Well, yeah, never. Exactly. Mm. Also, just no one really oh. watches TV anymore that isn't, I know. But isn't, well, that, yeah, isn't that weird? Because growing up, there were always like that one or two commercials in the back of your mind. Like Old Spice, Berries and Cream. Uh, there's like that fucking uh, some of the Super Bowl commercials like Bud Knight, etc. There was always that level of pop culture of like, oh, this commercial was really cool. Or, oh, that commercial, I love when it comes on. But now... Not only does that not exist, but commercials, the only ones I hear people bring up are ones that are super negative, like the, the Pepsi yeah. protest yeah, that's what one. I was bring up, yeah. yeah, I only you know ever hear them is. in a negative light, and it's just funny how it's completely changed. I think it's because back then there was an absence of pop culture. There was more room for ads to exist in, in the social zeitgeist, basically. Now it's just so much culture all the time ads just can't break through people don't care about ads but at the same time to notice ads but at the same time people also potentially see more ads now than ever with the fact that every social media has them plastered everywhere and before videos and after videos and all that shit yeah but they're not like iconic. but we've been trying to the mentally zone today. them out hmm. no but not just that but they're also just very generic now like coca-cola back in the day used to try you would have the coca-cola polar bear remember yeah they would crack open a cola with their little polar bear babies and it was iconic <laughs> like yeah. around christmas time now you just go on youtube and you get like a two second ad for whatever the elgato right. screen deck or some lawnmower and it's not that just was... not as yeah you don't Sorry, remember that moment that was the other thing no. i was going to bring up it might be a format change where when you were on tv most commercials were like what 20 30 seconds or however long they could tell a story they could craft something now ads know they're going to get skipped in the first five seconds so they cram all the info yeah. they can in the first five seconds of the <laughs> ad that is a good point a, yeah <laughs> did you guys see um there was a canadian i think fashion outlets that had an advertising for assisted suicide did you guys oh see no that oh yeah i did see that for the canadian uh yeah assisted suicide stuff they like put out an ad promoting it essentially for some weird reason yeah and i think the woman in the wheelchair was i guess wearing their clothing while she was contemplating suicide so that's an uplifting message now in 2022 Why? and 2023 oh, how, how brain broken are we that we're now selling products and like 
<laughs> the advertising strategy is, hey, let's make people think about suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Kill yourself in our sweater. So, uh, beautiful. I don't know. I, I, they were going it's for the like the feel one, good please. angle, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> I guess not. Oh, speaking of TV, though, Jackson, you posted a tweet, I think, about G4, an esports channel getting the lowest ratings <laughs> yeah. of any channel ever. <laughs> do you want to talk about it? I don't yeah, wanna... so for those who don't know, yeah. G4 was an old like video game channel back in the day, right? Like early 2000s, probably, right? Mm -hmm. I can talk uh, all about so it. I used to watch it growing up obsessively. Yeah, oh. okay. So and Andrew was the target audience, so you yeah, already know I was. what kind of network it was um so they eventually got cancelled or whatever back in the early 2000s and they made a comeback early last year i think don't call it a comeback in, <laughs> yeah okay and they, i'm not saying that I is like know, a, oh it's better than that no it, they made a like whimpering dog whine of a fucking <laughs> try to take back the market like they they did nothing they accomplished they nothing try to I don't know if they tried to take back the market considering they just basically made another network, which was an appallingly bad idea. Like, a, a, yeah, it was, it was a TV network. Um, hey, so um, you got the whole call, Andrew. Stop. You have like <laughs> five Jesus computers. Did you crash again? Move a yeah, different yeah. one in there. <laughs> Bro. Um, well, they're they're all old now, so I, I'm actually just gonna upgrade. I, I, it, I, the laptop. It's on the way. Refresh Windows. It just takes a little, probably fix this. Takes a little time. No, just new new thing. New That's thing. right. Buy a six computer instead of fixing one. Good. He can't fucking fix it. It's Charlie. That's you, <laughs> you can come fix it if you want, Andrew. But Matt's tried for like a month on this computer. I could maybe sure. I don't. Uh, he, I'm pretty sure it's like an actual hardware issue. I don't know if there's a lot of fixing here. Mm. We'll, well see. Sounds like, well, wait, if it's it's happening during Audacity recording, so it's a read-write issue. The hard no, 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 it's not Audacity. This, it's, uh, it happens just whenever. It seems to happen most mm. when I'm recording with the uh, OBS, though. So how do you even stream? Uh, it just crashes sometimes. <laughs> 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 but it's it's happened literally every single recording except the last one yeah this is so weird anyway it takes our fucking audio so don't <laughs> fix it new, new computer. Fix it, the discord call just get a new case. get a new computer it's the easiest solution it's fine just do it you'll get windows anyway, 11 G4. you'll hate it it'll be great well i'm already on windows 11 i upgraded thinking that, that oh. would help <laughs> I must be the only one. I'm fine with Windows 11. Yeah, I don't mind. I really don't mind it. I, no. I think the hate is overblown. I truly don't I, mind I it. I also like it. My only issue is you cannot drag and drop anything into the taskbar anymore. That what? is extremely annoying to me. Yeah. What? Okay, okay, I have one question. You can't drag and drop, but you can still put stuff down there. I have, I have one, one important question. Can you move the, the fucking taskbar from the middle no. to the left corner? Well, yes, you can do that, but okay, you can't move it, it to fine, like then. the top or to the left or to the right. Everything is safe. But the could. issue is, no. But the thing is, you can't drag and drop anything. Like you can't take an item from your um, Windows Explorer and drag and drop it into, let's say, Signal or Discord, unless you Alt Tab. Wait, I literally just did it. I, I literally just did it. I don't know what you're talking about. I can't. Most people can't. Into Signal. Oh, they fixed it. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, all right. Never mind. Stop talking out of your ass. <laughs> cool. I'm not. They literally must have just fixed it. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> what's well, my what is, is gone. They what is the upswing Windows of Windows, Windows 11? What is the only, like, what are the things about it that seem better than 10 or well, worth it's, a, it's one number higher than 10, so. Okay. Yeah. There, there's nothing else. Cool. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's really nothing. Do you remember? That, it's free, I guess. Do you remember the resistance to Windows 10 when that was a thing and how long people sat on 7? They sat on 7 for years and years and years before to upgrading. Be fair, to be fair, Windows 10 was preceded by Windows 8, potentially the worst operating and it, system. Yeah, and Vista. <laughs> remember Vista? Uh, yeah, and Vista. Yeah. And a lot of people have good reasons not to update. Like if you're running medical software... Or software yeah. that you just depend the, on. Um, the majority so of the medical world, the majority of the medical world runs on Windows XP because they don't want to have to not only take the time to update the software and configure it, but they also don't want to train doctors to learn how to use new Windows. 
That's and that was much to their yeah. detriment. You might remember the Wanna Cry ransomware yep. from a few years ago, which yep. affected so, so many hospitals. Thanks, Windows XP. Yeah. Well, there's also still ransomware today. I think there's a ransomware uh, group called Lockbit, who the, the software itself, the malware itself is called Lockbit. They accidentally locked the children's hospital and uh, encrypted all of the files. And a couple of days later, they had to apologize and say, well, uh, one of our affiliates accidentally encrypted and ransomed all of your files for the Children's Hospital. We're sorry. We're giving you the decryptor for free. And we oh, are banning that, that person. Nice that, yeah. was, that was very nice of them, yeah. You always love to see ethical hackers. Ethical villains. <laughs> yeah. They should have gotten uh, some money at first, though. Like something like the kid's piggy bank. Yeah, because now, now they, they've ruined their reputation. Yeah, now everyone's going to know they're soft. Were. If you hack me with ransomware, I'm just going to say, oh, my dying child will now suffer without her Minecraft, and you'll <laughs> give me the key. You fucked up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but isn't, like, Windows XP and such not supported anymore by Windows? Not at all, so no. As yes. in, like, security updates and stuff. No, so it has really not open. been for many years. 7 is just now entering end of life, whereas XP has been dead for many years. Many years. I My one wish, if I had one wish, it would be for Steam or someone to... You know what they did with Proton for video games on the Steam Deck? Do the same thing, but for productivity software. Do it the same fucking thing for, like, the Adobe software and the digital audio workstations and shit. I am so sick of Windows, man. You install it, it is such AIDS, it's such digital neurotoxin, it is so <laughs> annoying to deal with. You get advertising now while installing Windows, a product you paid for. That's how shameless they are. That's I not mean, surprising I, at all. The one yeah. that I want No, it's gone. not, and that's a sad part. I don't mind most Windows shit, it's fine, it either works or I figure out how to make it work. The one thing they need to stop doing, stop Windows, is pre-installing programs. I don't fucking want Candy Crush. I don't want Minecraft. I don't want the Xbox Store. Don't oh, put yeah. that on Windows. That, that Just annoying. let me install it if I want it. All you need to do, one one install program if you're going to be greedy, like put a Windows Store and have suggestions, and then I'll remove that. But stop That's fucking what I putting mean. stuff on here. I'm never going to see or use. It comes with so much aids like i paid for windows pro why do i why is the first thing that i have to do when i boot the fucking computer after like an hour-long installation process why do i have to deinstall tiktok yeah and then so windows does actually Skype. have um, editions without all of that hiv you can get windows ltsc edition which is long-term supports for corporations you can get that the problem is if you get that edition without all of the you know windows media player and instagram shit attached to it then it doesn't do really anything besides be a server. Like you have to install it. You have to really, really bother even to get a video playing on your system. That's how bad Windows is now. I know uh, Linux could take over, but I don't think that's going to happen it's in our fucking, lifetimes. It fucking comes with Skype. Like, why? I, I still Skype, can't believe Skype has a heartbeat. If I want Skype, <laughs> I'll install Skype. I'll go to Skype.com and install the program. Why is it defaulted you're, on Windows? It's so you're stupid. actually wrong. You're actually wrong. Skype didn't come with my Windows. What? It's not here. Type Skype into your program search either. and tell me if I that's just, true. I, I did. I'll blow I your mind Skype further. I actually kind of... I like Skype for phone calls because you can get a number and you can kind of sort of hide your real number. I, I'll tell you right now, Jackson, I just hopped in my start menu. I typed in Skype and it tells me application from registry, which means I did not install it. It's just there. Wait, wait, wait. You're on Windows 10, right? I am on 10, to be fair. Yeah, well, yeah we're talking about 11. Yeah, yeah. Mm, it's, it's gone from yeah. I don't have it installed. I actually had to use it yesterday and now they have a web version, so you don't even have to install it anymore, which is nice, I guess. Yeah. Same with WhatsApp. Still fuck Same Skype. with fuck Microsoft. Hey, oh, Zoom. that's what we should do for the anniversary this year, guys. We should go back to Skype for one mm. episode. <laughs> God no, oh, please. Record with ass quality. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. That'll be so special. Charlie's computer will crash either way. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> His computer can't handle Skype. Let's all just get on a phone call and record that. We should have David Cross call in. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Do you, think he do you think he remembers us at all? No. No. Aww. I do think, though, I will say this. I think that one day he'll remember 
and look in on this show and he'll see our current audience and how well our show's made and he'll go, damn, I really fucked up. He could have been the permanent fifth host. <laughs> he could have been a good guest, a recurring guest. He could have like made a great crossover, but he just didn't care. He could have been a friend. And then when this show hits like millions of listeners per episode, he'll just be like, damn, what did I fucking do? I'm such a loser. Biggest blunder of his career. Yeah, really. Take that. Yeah, I, do so you think his agent, his agent screamed at him after the interview? Like, what were you doing, no. David? You needed to be I on these really guys' good it. side. <laughs> <laughs> I really doubt it. No. He's just oh. one of those types that thinks because he was in a couple of movies, he's better than everyone else. Speaking yeah. of movies, so you guys called me crazy, but now look at Avatar Way of Water. It's breaking records. You never so bet against the first James one, Cameron. You're, you're not disproving anything we said. Or anything I no, said, well, at least. Well, I, wait, no, I doubted it. I, I openly doubted that yeah, it would do this again. Oh, okay. Was it people worth the wait? very much doubting it. I don't know. Was it that's worth the wait? That's a, that, that's a personal thing. I don't fucking yeah, know. I don't know about that. Mm. It's definitely better than the first, because I didn't like the first, but I like this one. Yep. So by the end of this week, I, week or weekend, I think, it's going to have passed $2 billion dollars. Uh, so it's very quickly going to be at the very minimum the fourth highest grossing film of all time, which means the top four are uh, Avatar 1, obviously. The second one is, I believe, Avengers Endgame. Yes. And then the third is Titanic. And then fourth is Avengers 2. So James Cameron <laughs> will have produced and directed three of the four top Fuck grossing me. films of all time. You never bet against James Cameron. Also, Never. let's 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 put Avatar into perspective here. The original, not the not the fucking sequel. The original Avatar is beating Avengers Endgame by two hundred million dollars. Yeah, it's not even close. It's not even close. And also, Titanic Damn. is at uh, seven hundred million dollars less than Avatar. So James Cameron destroyed his own lead <laughs> by a lot. <laughs> Fuck so me. what's in what's interesting about uh, Avatar: The Way of the Water is it did forty two percent better this weekend compared to the weekend before. Yeah, it's only growing. Yeah, so it That's is very growing. Precise. In you want to hear? Oh, yeah. You want to hear a crazy one though? So we talked about how like all the biggest grossing movies are like giant franchises like Jurassic Park and Fast and Furious and whatever. So there's like some obvious ones in the top like Spider Man: No Way Home, Jurassic World, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Fucking Top Gun: Maverick is now the 11th highest grossing movie of all time. I haven't 11? seen it, but I hear it's just dumb brain fun. Yeah, fun. Like, oh, just, people liked fair. it. People liked yeah, it, but yeah, it's dumb. huge. Yeah. It's absolutely huge. It's made $1.5 billion. Absolutely. I think it's it just a lot of fun. That guy knows how to make fun movies. I recently yeah. rewatched Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, one of the best movies ever. Oh, that movie's so, so good. So good. Wait, which so one is that? Is that the third? It's a fourth one. It's where they, uh, where he scales the Burj Khalifa, and they're in the. Um, oh yeah, yep. The Kremlin, mm -hmm. and it's like a complete. It's like twenty minutes of complete silence, and yet it is still so engaging and fun to watch as he's sneaking through a corridor. We talked about this, I think, last episode, but all the Mission Impossibles are just good. I don't know how he does it, but every single one of them is a fun, interesting, exciting movie. They only it's just get fun to better. watch. Like. I do think that the fourth one is the best. Three is good. One and two kind of old. They're kind of aging at this they're point. They're still good. I was gonna say two is the worst. The, the fucking no, scenes in the good. first one where he's fucking with the face masks. That part's great. Where like you don't know no, who's who awesome. and who he is. It's sick. Don't get me wrong. It is still cool. I'm just saying. No, that was two. That was two. That was John Woo. John Woo directed that yeah, one. Yeah, two one is the, the one where it gets really, really silly, which but in a good way. Yeah. Well, it's John Woo. Yeah. yeah I, I distinctly remember it because there's fucking white dubs flying at the end, which is a staple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's, so there's been, there's been one, two, three, Ghost Protocol, Rogue Nation, and Fallout. And then coming next yes. year is Dead Reckoning. Yeah. Dead Reckoning 1 and 2, right? Yes. Like, it's two, two different movies. I think two part. Yeah. yeah. I am so down for it. That guy, I know everyone gives him shits, but it just, he makes good movies. He does. He is also They're producer fun. on all the Mission Impossibles. So that's cool. Mm -hmm. He's probably had the most... Oh, uh, I don't know if he's had the most successful career out of any movie star. Hey, uh, fun fact. So Mission Impossible 2 is John Woo. Mission Impossible 3 was J.J. Abrams. Oh. Yeah. 
So there were a lot of lens flares in that one? <laughs> yeah, a lot of lens flares and a lot of shaky cam, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's interesting, yeah. They're so do you, do you guys think that he's the most successful movie star? The Rock. Maybe? Really? I, I, it depends on how I, you I define would say success, yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio, when I was growing up, Ooh, he was yeah. the Hollywood. He was all of Hollywood. It was right. him. But he may have been dethroned at this point by Tom Cruise, yeah. Yeah, I feel like Tom Cruise is Hollywood when you think I, of the word. Like, I would stuff. still say The Rock just because it feels like every movie he's in now is just big blockbusters. Like every But that's the inundation but of, of The Rock. Some of them are so bad, like yeah. Black Adam. True. I, I didn't even finish that one. It was so bad. That's just... That's too much rock. So much rock that the rock becomes just like noise. <laughs> okay, so I have I have pulled up a list here of the top grossing uh, actors of all time, the ones who star in the biggest hits, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Would you guys like to guess who number one is? Sam Worthington uh, for Jake Sully in the Avatar. Wrong. Why? How is that possible? It's based on um, total How box office paid? gross of every movie they've been in. Uh. Yeah. I still feel like between uh, Avatar 1 and 2, I, I can't well, imagine. Maybe it's an old no, list. Maybe it doesn't Leonardo it. DiCaprio. It's not. No, Leonardo's not even in huh. the top 10, actually. What the Wait, fuck? What the, yeah, it's a weird list. list. But Jackson? Is it, is it Brad Pitt? Jackson, you should have said your oh, own name. It's gonna... Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, that's oh, interesting. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because he's been in yeah. huge hits. Do you, go, do you want to take a crack in the top five, then? Uh, Sam Worthington's got to be in top, top five. five. Sam Worthington's not even on this list. How is that possible, though? <laughs> I don't get it. How is that possible? <laughs> wait, 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 just, those, just be, between wait, wait, those wait. two movies alone, they've grossed like fucking four billion dollars. Over four billion dollars. How is that fucking possible? Because they also take into factor average of every movie they've been in. But then Sam mean? Worthington has also been in other films such as um, uh, Jack Reacher with Tom Cruise. He was in... Um, Oh, Jesus, he was in another big one right before the Avatar that I'm blanking on. Then he was also in those god-awful Titan movies. He's been in uh, so much, like, I can't believe he's yeah, not just said he's, he's been in all stinkers to give you, other to get, look, to give you To give you a comparison, Sam Jackson has grossed $5.7 billion. Yeah, but Sam Worthington's almost uh, grossed that from two damn. films. <laughs> I know, but okay, he's not I close guess... with the others. This might be either very spot-on or very bad, but Chris Pratt? Chris Pratt is number seven. You're close. Ah, that was really yeah, good so top, go for the top five. George Clooney? <laughs> nope, not even on That's there. That's a good one. No, oh, no Will way. Smith. I guess what about Will Smith? No, no, Will Smith's not that. Oh, uh, Will Smith's 15th, actually. Yeah. I'll give you a hint. We were just talking about one right now. Wait, when did, when did this list come out, Andrew? This list is, I believe, current. Well, oh, wait, what, yeah, Tom Cruise. Uh, yeah, Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise is number five. Yeah. <laughs> because there, there's uh, legitimately uh, no way Sam Worthington wouldn't be in that top five. If number one is five billion, genuinely, between just Avatar movies, Sam Worthington would be Sam Worthington over four. is 107. Yeah, so this is an old list. This is before Way of Water, for sure. Maybe. It probably is before Way of Water. Yeah. It has to be. This this is not, like, super well, current. Uh, okay, we'll just go back two months, Charlie. It's, it's just a mental exercise. Yeah. It's not too deep. Well, yeah, well, I just didn't know how recent it was. <laughs> All right, I'll give you the rest. Okay, because... Wait, 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 no, no, okay, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm okay. enjoying this, goddammit. Sam Robert Jackson Downey is Jr. one. Tom Cruise is five. Who are the other three? Leonardo DiCaprio. No. He's not even in the top... Ooh, wow, he's pretty far down, actually. He's 37th, oh, believe that's it or pathetic. not. He doesn't do, like, a ton of movies. No. He's yeah, just in yeah, the... yeah, so it's you, really about volume. It is, because here's... I'll give you a volume. Sam Jackson has 64 movies, and he's the only person on this list with over 60 movies, to give you an idea. You know who's going to be on there, no <laughs> doubt? Towards the top is going to be Brendan Fraser. <laughs> hmm. uh, he might not be in the top 100, Charlie. I'm telling. You, I'm sorry to say. Wait, that doesn't make sense because the Mummy has grossed over like uh, what, what was it? 1.5 billion from just the Mummy. But J I Charlie, went to pee, but did anybody he, did guess he do Robert that Downey multiple Jr. times? Because Sam Jackson's number one with 5.7. He would have to do that six times. I don't know how this works. Brendan Fraser should still be somewhere towards the top though, because it's a multi-billion dollar franchise that he <laughs> spearheaded. Let's. <laughs> this makes no sense. Was he in all of them? Yes. Brendan Fraser. Okay, yeah, Brendan Fraser is 275th. 
That makes no sense. What do they, what do they, what do they, what do they put down his earnings as with this box office? Uh, seven hundred seventy-five million. And it's then this list is a load of baloney. What do you mean? Here, look, I can look up the mummy right is now. Is it based off how much they were paid? Or the... It has to be like this has to be a metric they're not getting because the box office for the the mummy franchise for the trilogy was one point four billion, and that's just one what? franchise Brendan Fraser was in. Yes, that's one franchise I've seen Brendan it Fraser was in. Four hundred million. No, that that list is so fucked. It, it is. It was one of the first <laughs> billion dollar franchises from Universal. Like it was a huge, 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 huge thing. Oh, oh, okay. I see why we're confused. This is a domestic box office list. You're looking at worldwide. Yeah, yeah. That's totally different. Mm. Ah, okay. Let me see if I can find a worldwide. Because then wait, it's, well, it's going to be a bunch of foreign actors we've never heard of. Yeah, but yeah, just, it's going to be tell like us, a Chinese tell K-pop us. band. <laughs> you can stay. Just, you can stay with domestic. I I was just going by yeah, like the total domestic. box. Okay. Is it Chris Rock? Chris Rock or like no, like that? not Chris Rock. No, they're they're actors. It's not like comedians at the top. It's like wait, actual Kevin actors. Hart's like in everything. Like, like, no, Kevin Hart is fifty fifth. Hmm. Mark Wahlberg's good. Vin Diesel. Nah, you, you guys got to think big, like huge names. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg. Uh, Mark is... <laughs> let's see, 35th. Yeah, that's still pretty yeah. good. Shia LaBeouf. Uh, no, oh, yeah, Shia would definitely Ooh. not be it. Will Ferrell is what not even like oh, Will Ferrell's 67th. Chris uh, now, Kaya's getting closer. Chris Hemsworth, it's 8th. Oh, have we said Robert Downey Jr.? <sighs> yes, 2! Robert Downey Jr. is number 2, thank I you. I said that! No, you didn't! Okay. When? Yes, I did. Oh, no, you did? When? You weren't listening. Yeah, he's in every Marvel movie. He must he have is. made a bank. Robert Downey Jr. is number two under Sam Jackson. And then Jackson. by extension, Chris Evans is going to be towards the top. Chris Evans is yeah, we, actually lower. We, uh, okay, how does this work? Has been in more, all right, okay, we can solve the puzzle, you <laughs> guys. The same Who's been movies? in more Marvel movies than Robert? Chris Evans no is number 10. Okay, Samuel okay, Jackson's so you can, you can solve well. the puzzle. It's another Marvel and then a person who's not Marvel, but is in every goddamn movie ever as well. What? Uh... Who's a lady from Marvel? Who? Scarlett Johansson. Black Scarlett Widow? Johansson is number three. And then number four is really? he's older huh. and he's in like, he's the main dude in like every movie that needs a regular guy. Bruce Willis. No. Liam Neeson? No, those are action yeah. dudes. I'm talking like regular everyman. Likeable every everyday guys. Oh, uh, Ryan Reynolds. No. He's an old, older, Morgan older Freeman. man. Somebody in chat said Morgan Freeman. Right track, wrong person, but right idea. Ah. Fuck, I don't know. Who's like a normal, Yeah, big, like a normal, normal guy. fun, likable guy. Ken Reese? <laughs> No, know. no. Tom Hanks? Yes, Chad is Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks is number ah, four. Chet wins. Yeah, Tom Dimos. Hanks. And Chet said it first, I think. That Tom, was a shit list. It's domestic only, it's I not agree. international. So, that's where I got confused. My fault, I Tom, should have said domestic from the beginning. But so there you go. Tom, Cruise is, or, Tom Cruise is five, right? Tom Cruise is fifth. It is Sam Jackson, Robert Downey Jr., Scarlett Johansson, Tom Hanks, Tom Cruise. That's the top five. Damn, two Toms in the top five. Strong name. <laughs> Good day for Toms, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the ones you did not get in the top ten were Zoe Saldana. Avatar. Ava right. What the yeah. fuck? She's an Avatar. <laughs> yeah. She's Nateri. Yeah. Well, no, wait. She's, she's also in Marvel movies, though. She's yeah. the blue chick. And uh, the oh, only other chick. one you didn't get in the top ten is Bradley Cooper. Mm, yeah, he hasn't yeah. been anything in a while. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is Bradley Cooper? He's uh, the, he's also in Marvel movies. He's a little fucking. He's Ant Man, guy. isn't he? No. No, that's what? Paul Rugg. That they look very he's, similar. He's, to be fair, they he's look... a little squirrel in the Guardians of the no, Galaxy. No, but like, look at a photo of Bradley Cooper next to Paul Rugg. They look extremely similar. I don't think so. Plus, he was also what? in. They look so he was in the similar. Hangover. He was in the Hangover, and he also was the one who took that pill that made him super smart. I'm I'm not crazy. Brad, <laughs> Bradley Cooper is if you took Paul Rudd and took his handsomeness meter and added a single point. They are so yeah, similar yeah, I looking. I can see what Andrew's saying. Yeah. I don't see that at They're all. They're so similar. Fuck off. Come on. All right. I've got to tinkle real bad, so let's wrap. Yeah, we can wrap. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for joining us for the first episode of the new year. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, Patreon.com slash the official podcast for bonus episodes, all that stuff. 
We'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye. Bye.